Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If you not yet subscribed, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this model, we are going to discuss fifth question. A ship can cover certain distance in 10 hours. So certain distance in 10 hours. So what is the time for 16 nautical miles? So at speed of 16 nautical miles per hour. By how much should its speeds be increased so that it can take only 8 hours to cover the same distance. An article mile in a unit measurement used to see distance or sea water that is one nautical mile will be nautical mile will be 1852 meters. So that is the 1852 meters. So actually let's take your time time t and speed that is 16 nautical miles per hour so speed yes so that will be equal to t1 let's take t1 and t2 s1 and s2 so what is that t1 time taken is 10 hours 10 hours speed will be 16 nautical miles nautical miles per hour then how much should its speed increase to the 8 hours so same distance what is that so what is that what is the relation we have to know if time will be increases time increases speed will be decrease then speed increases time will be decrease so there are speed and time will be inverse relation that is speed is inversely proportional to time then <coughs> sorry 1 by t so s is equals to k by t then k will be equal to s into t <coughs> so right formula of s1 t1 will be equal to s2 t2 then what we have to find s2 so s2 will be s1 t1 by t2 that will be s1 is what 16 then t1 is what 10 by t2 is what 8 so 8 ones are 8 twos are then 2 into 10 that will be equal to 20 nautical miles per hour 20 nautical so here they are asking that what they are asking is how much speed should be increased so the speed should be increased is here let's take s2 will be 40 sorry 20 nautical miles per hour then s1 will be 16 nautical miles per hour how much speed increase let's take increase speed that is difference you can take it as s2 minus s1 that is 20 minus 16 then 4 nautical miles per hour if you increase then we will get answer thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss what is our next question is five pumps are required to fill a tank in one and a half hour how many pumps of the same type are used to fill the tank in half an hour? So, so here they are given number of pipes and time taken to fill the tank they are given. So let's take number of pipes will be number of pipes will be x and time taken to fill tank time taken will be let's take y this is hours this is number so let's find what is that is as usual for all the problems you have to write like this x1 y1 then x2 y2 so here x1 what they are given x1 is 5 number of pipes this is 1 and a half hour then x2 are they given no we have to find y2 they are given half an hour so half an hour means so this is one and a half hour means 60 minutes plus 30 minutes this is totally 90 minutes this is 30 minutes 30 minutes only so you can take like this 30 minutes and 90 minutes or one and a half hour you can do in the another manner also so if you increase number of pipes so let's take if you are increased number of pipes then time taken will be decreased then if you decrease number of pipes time taken will be increased that 
2 are inversely proportional that is x is equals to k by y that will be k will be equal to x into y so here k is a constant so let's take let's say x1 y1 will be equal to x2 y2 so we have to find x2 that is x1 y1 by y2 so what is the condition what we need to follow here x2 will be x1 is what 5 then y1 is what 90 minutes then y2 is what 30 minutes so 0 0 cancel then 5 into 9 by 3 3 ones are 3 3 are then 5 into 3 what you are getting 15 that is 15 pipes so what is the answer 15 15 pipes or you can do another method what is that is you can simply you can take one and a half hour that is you can take 3 by 2 I'll do here another method is let's take here x2 will be equal to 5 into this is y1 so what is that 2 ones are 2 2 plus 1 will be 3 by 2 whole divided by 1 by 2 that will be 5 into 3 by 2 into 2 by 1 so 2 2 will cancel 5 3 is a 15 like this also you can calculate thanks for watching please subscribe our next question is if 15 workers so 15 workers can build a wall in 48 hours so they want to build one wall like this so they want to fill one like this again how many members are used so how many members are used here as 15 members the guys which are working on wall how many first time 15 workers let's take number of workers number of workers will be let's take x and time taken to time taken to build a wall will be y so you can do x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 so what is that x1 and y1 values so here actually x1 is what they are given x1 number of workers will be first time 15 workers then here this is hours 48 hours again they told that 30 hours if you take 30 hours what is the number of people to build the same wall so actually here if you increase number of workers time taken will be less if you decrease number of workers then time taken will be high so here actually this is number of hours is decreased then it must and should increase number of workers that is x is inversely proportional to y that is x is equals to k by y that is k is equals to x into y so we can build one formula here what is that is x1 y1 will be equal to x2 y2 so here x2 we need to find x1 y1 by y2 so x2 is what here x1 is what 15 into 48 by 30 so 15 ones are 15 twos are then x2 will be equal to 48 by 2 then 2 ones are 2 twos are then 2 fours are so that is 24 so here 24 so here 24 members are required to complete the same wall to build the same wall within 30 hours thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos in this model we are going to discuss a school has 8 periods a day each of 45 minutes duration how long would each period become if the school has only 6 periods a day assuming the number of school hours to be same so let's take here they given that number of periods let's take x and number of hours each period that is time for each period or number of hours number of hours for each period each period will be y or time you can take like that also so let's take here let's start our x1 y1 right then x2 y2 here only two two values we are comparing so first value is what so here our x1 is number of periods will be 8 for that each period will be 45 minutes 45 minutes then number of periods is decreased 6 then what is the time duration so let's take here so let's take if you increase number of periods then time will be less 
if you decrease number of periods then time will be more time taken for each period that is x is inversely proportional to y that means x is equals to k by y then k will be equal to x into y that is the formula so let's substitute x1 y1 will be equal to x2 y2 so what we have to find x2 so x2 will be x1 y1 by y2 so that implies so x1 value is what there 8 into y1 is what 45 then here by 6 2 4 za then 2 3 za then 3 1 za 3 1 za 3 3 5 za 15 so 4 into 15 thought what you're getting 60 minutes that is 1 hour so if you take 6 periods then it will take 1 hour for each period that is 60 minutes thanks for watching please subscribe